Over the last two decades, something called the food movement got started. But the food industry is dominated by a handful of very powerful companies. So there's a lot at stake when you sit down to eat. When the pandemic hit, the curtain was peeled back. There were whole crops being buried. At the same time, there were shortages in the supermarket. But that's not the only problem. Working in the fields, our work is essential, but we as people were treated as disposable. How could I go to work for these billion dollar companies and feed all these people all to come home to hear my son's stomach growl? By fixing our food system, we will create health and well-being in every aspect of our lives. And I want rural America to be vibrant again. That's my motivation here. They're gonna say, we're not gonna let some big mouth senator from Montana stop us. And so, bring it on, guys. Every one of our oysters filters 50 gallons of water a day. And our kelp soaks up five times more carbon than land-based plants. This is solar powered, electrically driven, on a programmable basis. You're dealing with a crowd that does not like change. When you walk into a supermarket, there's a whole arsenal of additives designed to mislead the brain, actually interfering with the brain's and the body's ability to metabolize food. I sure as heck don't want my tax dollars subsidizing the things that are making people sick. Now, what are the proteins that you're producing? That's something we, we can't talk about on the camera right now. I wanted to wake up in the morning and believe in what I was doing. This is well right here. Programs like ours demonstrate the kind of policy change that we want to see. This is our chance to chart a new course. I want to see people living life, not just fighting to survive. Just imagine if the government decided to step in on the side of the consumer and the citizen. We not only can do it, we have to.